So in this video, I wanna walk through a, an example of a lab report. And so for this patient, we're looking at the iron status. So for this uh, ferritin, which is the storage form of iron is very low. So that's at 10. Typically I like to see that between 70 to 100. Um, looking down, there's other markers of iron status here. Uh, also checking the status of B9 or folate and B12, which look pretty good. But as you can see here, the vitamin D is very low, 26.9. And optimal range for me is anywhere from about 60 to 80. Then moving on, we're getting into lipids and advanced lipid markers. So overall, this patient's lipids look relatively good. I like to see that LDL a little bit lower, under 100. But overall, cholesterol levels looking pretty good. ABOB, which is a more advanced uh, lipid marker, that could also come down. And then we're looking at inflammation. So homocysteine, HSCRP, and oxidized LDL are all different forms of inflammation in the body. So for this patient looking pretty good, uh, as well as another um, advanced lipid marker called small dense LDL, which is within normal range. And here we're looking at a measure of blood sugar. So we're looking at fasting glucose, which is 96, technically normal, although a little on the high side. Uh, the same thing with hemoglobin A1C, which is a measure of your blood sugar over a three month time span. So in the low fives is fine for that, as well as insulin. I like, that to, I like to see that under 10.